the New Hampshire Goldback. Get your first look on Yankee Stacking. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. We are going to unveil these brand new, never before seen New Hampshire Goldbacks. And I said we because I have my son Little Stacks with me. Yeah. He how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Are you excited about this? Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, man. When we got them in the mail and I told you what they were. Oh, yeah. You it were was... like, Dad, I want to see them. All right. So, Little Stacks, I got a surprise for you. All right. I contacted the artist behind these exquisite designs and we're going to talk to her about them. Isn't that that's incredible? Pretty, that's pretty cool. And if you're new to Goldbacks, each of these are what's called complementary currencies. And they're actual gold. In fact, right here, I'll hold one of them. Look at this. Actual gold. They're broken down and encased in two layers of polymer. And they're really tough. They're meant to be put in your wallet and be used. That's their primary purpose, a means of exchange. They're not actually meant to be, you know, stacked or collected little stacks per se. All yeah. right. I mean, they're, they're gorgeous. Wait until you see them. I mean, if you want to stack them, that's fine. If you want to collect them, I don't blame you. But their primary purpose, and it's written right on them, is for circulation, to use for goods and services. And not just in New Hampshire either, a little stacks, but anywhere someone actually is willing to accept them as payment. Yeah. No, we should try we, that. Try what? We should try and buy something with gold bags. That's a great idea. You mean just like go to a store with yeah. them? and Yeah. Yeah, we should do I'm... that. All right. So that's a that's a great idea. We'll, we'll have to do another video. Uh, where we actually go to the store, bring the gold backs. Hey, you got a stack of them, right? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there they are. <laughs> I am super honored, people, to be the very first to debut them to you in our community and to speak to the artist who captured the essence of New Hampshire so beautifully on each one of them. Mm -hmm. Her name is Sherry Jensen. Hello, Sherry. Hi. How Hi, are this, you? Hi, this is Yankee and Little Stacks. We're doing great. Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, meet with us and, and go over these gold backs. We, we're super excited about this. Yeah. It's such an honor to have the actual artist describe the different elements and what you did with these. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. Thank you. I'm looking <laughs> forward to it too. And you have actually, you've worked on uh, a few different uh, gold back designs too. Utah was one, right? Utah, Nevada, and of course I did New Hampshire. Okay, so yeah. why don't we jump in? I'm going to unveil the first one. No one's seen these before. I'm holding them up to the camera right now. This is the one gold back we're looking the at. The one gold back. So right. you're looking at gratia. She is, that means um, a Latin word for gratitude. And she is um, an Abenaki Indian from the, one of the Algonquin tribes. It's yeah. what I found out was um, women, they, they um, cultivated different kinds of maize and corn and squash, and you'll see that. The Abenaki, I think that means people of the dawn. Oh, how, are, how interesting. That mean, yeah. You'll notice by the front of the home, there is a, a trumpet, and that stands for oh, the Feast of Trumpets. Because um, in, I totally miss in, that. Yeah. in 1788 and 1879, Sarah Joseph, she was the very first person to advocate um, for Thanksgiving for our national holiday. I didn't even see the trumpet. That's really yeah. cool. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, yeah, it's called a shofar. The otter represents a resourceful creature with the ability to play. Um, it wasn't there while I was doing the artwork, but with this COVID and everything that's happened, mm. now that makes a lot of sense. Also notice uh, the, I put there remnants of mystic Stonehenge, which is part of, I mean, it's just one of those things that I'm just so intrigued with. And so I thought, I'm going to add that little bit in there. So I mean, perhaps it may have been built by Native Americans. The American Stonehenge yes. that's there in New Hampshire. Yes, both Little Stacks and I just kind of, we just kind of looked at each other like, that one, the one yeah. we've been to, it's not that far away from us. Let's wow. jump on to the five gold back. To the five. So what do you think, Little Stacks? What jumped out at you with this? Uh, okay, so there's definitely the uh, covered bridge. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. That covered bridge. 
bridge, I understand those structures are known throughout New Hampshire. And so I thought I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Mm -hmm. um, that particular one is along the, and I might, I will probably mess this up, but Kangamangas Highway, what's oh, it called? The Kangamangas. Yeah, yeah Kangamangas, <laughs> there we go. So Veritas means, in Latin, means truth, or ver like verification or verify. And mm -hmm. so she's she is in a colonial dress. She's holding a light, which, of course, means truth. And maybe, perhaps, I just thought a colonial soldier had been waiting for, you know, to come. She'd been waiting for him to come home, and she holds the light oh. to direct him towards the bridge or mm -hmm. whatever. I was just thinking of it that the, way. The light of the candle lighting the way to truth. That's what I was thinking mm -hmm. when I saw it. I was mm -hmm. That was oh, the metaphor. What kind, of a, what kind of bird is that? Because the, the first thing that I thought of that was like is your finches. purple finch or the state bird. That, Did you say that? Yeah, the, the state bird. New Hampshire state bird. The purple finch, and there's also purple lilacs. The yes. state flowers are represented as well. Well, more thing you spotted too, right? Little stacks. The moose. The moose. Yeah, yeah, yeah the cool. moose. They have very poor eyesight. I understand, mm -hmm. and so I thought it might be good to put them there just because they have really good sense of hearing and an excellent sense mm -hmm. of smell. So it reinforces the idea of searching for truth, searching and finding wow. things. You know. I love the cover bridge. That one made it. Oh, close to my favorite, but not quite. So we're gonna oh, move on oh, from the. Oh, what's your favorite? I... Oh, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Okay. <laughs> let me show. Let me show people the number ten. Ten goldbacks. I think you are trying to highlight a few things that jumped out at me, Sherry. Like New Hampshire's eighteen and a half miles of seashore, which is like the smallest of any. <laughs> State yes. seashore. It's tiny, but we're proud of it. <laughs> I wanted to do that. I, th that's prospect scientia, which means foresight in oh, can, Latin. Can you, can you say that again for me? Because I struggled I, with this I one. hope I can. It's really hard. Prospect scientia. Prospect scientia. So pros like prospect, like looking oh. forward, seeing things in a perspective. So prospect oh, scientia. Okay. I see the, the lighthouse back there. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. So this basically is nods towards the time that of 1774, uh, the before the Revolutionary War, when the mm -hmm. Sons of Liberty mm -hmm. discovered that the British general Thomas Gage was going to head to Fort William and Mary, that's uh -huh. also known now as Fort Constitution. You'll yep. see it up in the background. You notice she's kind of basking in triumph on a cannon. I do love the cannon. Mm -hmm. you, you do know why you do know why right little stacks yeah because it's a yeah i love Yankee that too cannon. i also put... jerry it's a little inside yeah. joke with my my channel um i have what's called a yankee <laughs> cannon so when i saw that i was like "Ooh, i like that one oh <laughs> I, that's one of your things I, oh, yeah cool. in the okay. background there's uh a ship and then the whale obviously yeah um, you got a whale back there right yeah, yeah. and then really behind cool. that there's a ship there is yeah yeah that's that, it's the just uss a, raleigh just a, the uss the raleigh USS... Yeah, that's depicted on the New Hampshire State Seal because it was one of the 13 warships uh, that mm -hmm. was sponsored by yeah. the Continental Congress. So I thought, let's put that there. And then I put the whale there because basically the whale represents protecting their young. And so I thought that reinforced the idea of foresight yeah. or prospect. Yeah, it's yeah. breaching there. Is it a specific type of whale, like a humpback or something yeah, like that? It's a, it's a humpback. Also, yeah. in the very front, in the very front, there's like a, a fence of a wooden post. Yeah, I was looking at like Hampton Beach, but that's part of them. And I noticed that they planted, or they maybe they just grow wild. I don't know, a lot of young maples, mm -hmm. trees that grow along there at the sure. park. Oh, and no, so we've, thought, we've been to Hampton Beach quite a bit. I mean, in fact, last time we were there, we were uh, metal detecting for yeah. coins on, oh, on Hampton Beach. Yeah. Really nice. This one, I think, is this your... Is this your favorite? Yeah, this would be my favorite, yeah. This is Little Stack's favorite. Oh, good. I'm Very glad nice. He likes it. Let's uh, move on to what actually is my favorite, and it is the 25 goldbacks. Oh, the Fortitude and A. Oh, say that again for me, Jerry. Uh, fortitude and A, which basically means fortitude. Fortitude and so A. Fortitude and A. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. They're all in Latin. Okay. Let me just tell you what I love about this, and then you can okay, dive into the details. Me. Yeah. So I love the live free or die motto. 
That was written yeah. by one of our New Hampshire war heroes, General John Stark, who wrote that Live Free or Die, because I remember this. He wrote it as a toast to the men who served under him uh, right before his death. And the entitled, uh-huh. the, the whole thing is Live Free or Die. Death is not the greatest of evils. And I love that. It's one of the most I do love iconic that too. mottos of any state in our country. When I mm-hmm. was doing the artwork, I thought, Okay, we, this needs to be p- depicted. And mm-hmm. So I did it on a granite-shaped rock that's the state oh, of New Hampshire. Granite mm-hmm. state, yes. And in the background is Mount Washington. I don't know if you know oh. that. And- oh, I've been on top of that. You've climbed it. We've been yeah. up these mountains that you're, that you're depicting. Yeah. And then there's a fort, I think, or a building in front of that? Now, that is the Mount Washington Hotel. It's not from that time period. It's just from... You know, it's just something that I thought, let's do the Mm -hmm. historic Mount Washington Hotel. My grandfather worked at the Mount Washington Hotel when he was a young man. (laughs) Oh, my heavens. (laughs) Let me just say what I absolutely love the best. The sap running on that maple tree and the musket that she's holding. Because if you put the two together... Little Stax is looking at me. It's the maple musket. Oh, that is so cool. That's what it is. It is a Revolutionary War musket. To me, it stood for Mm -hmm. fortitude. I thought, Mm -hmm. let's just Mm -hmm. go ahead and put the sugaring maple tree there, and let's put put her standing there with... And then she has colors that... uh, I mean, they're not colors. It's black and white. But nevertheless, (laughs) it kind of represents that idea of freedom or fortitude and strength. Right. Standing tall for what you believe in, holding true to your values kind of thing. I love in that. Fact, I research. I always research yep. all the different states when I do this. And I thought, it's. I thought, oh, my heavens, of all things that New Hampshire stands for, I think mm-hmm. fortitude is one mm-hmm. of those things. It makes, yes. they, they just have that value. And I love that. She's yeah. wearing colonial, I believe that, that looks like, like military that what they would wear for it the does. all those yeah. buttons, and also yeah. she has yeah. a um, gunpowder horn. It's a it's a beautiful way of incorporating that word into her dress. Well done. Thanks. There should be a porcupine on there too. Can you see you know, that? Yeah, I'm looking at it right uh, now. I was going to ask you what that is. It's a aren't porcupine. There two? It looks like there's two. Oh, there are two. So, so good eye. Porcupines are have, they have a lot of fortitude too. They get their back up if you cross a line, you know. <laughs> and so that's what I thought. Okay, the porcupine needs to go on that one. So this is my favorite, right here. This is oh, absolutely stunning. The 50 gold back. Man, I can hardly fit it on the screen here. It's so big. Now, something Ooh. I just noticed was what? the uh, engra- well, the tree yes. that fell. There's yes. engraving she, on it. And there's the a big story here, dude. There, I know this story, but I'm going to let Sherry tell it because I know she knows about the Pine Tree Riot of 1772, right? You're exactly right. So Jesus. those trees are the eastern white pine trees and... Mm-hmm. It, during that time, the colonists, they wanted the eastern white pines for the construction of their homes. But the British Royal Navy, because they were tall and straight, they wanted those those pines for their ship mass. Yeah. So apparently there was a lot of tension there. So in 1743, mm-hmm. that kind of accumulated, and the trees, um, that they were going to be cut down. My, my son, <laughs> he did a lot of this research, too. Yep. Yep. And he says that those residents were so angry and they wanted to get their trees back and so it's what they did the colonists dressed as native americans and they cut the manes and tails off the horses of the british when they went to get those particular trees and so you'll notice she's standing with her foot on that tree because it's just in memory of the colonists you know of that particular act and then that pine tree Mm-hmm. became an iconic symbol during the rest of the time period. General Washington, as commander-in-chief of the Continental Army, decided to use that particular image on the flags mm-hmm. that were flown. And they would say an appeal to heaven or sometimes an appeal to God. And so so right. that's the reason why the right. flag right. is flying on Libertas, the white pine tree. What was so interesting is that it was one of the very first acts of, uh, uh, you know, forceful protest against the British. It was two years before the Boston Tea Party and like three years before the Battle of uh, Lexington and, and Concord. Yes. Way back. New Hampshire was so much involved with a lot of those things. And <laughs> yeah. I like that. I really do. And yeah. you'll notice along the skirt, it says yeah. 
Vis unita fortior, which means strength unified is stronger. And that's the original mm. motto of the state of New Hampshire. I had forgotten that. That is really cool. I'm glad you included that, too. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, libertas, right? Liberty? Liberty. Mm -hmm. The family of deers back there signifies kind of the unity, that unity is stronger. The family is together. Mm. And the other thing is, I just want to, little stacks, put yours over with mine. This one right here. No, just oh, this. Just this. this. There, there are... Uh, here, there's two in my hand right now. Sherry, I'm looking at two one twentieth of a troy ounce of 24 karat gold. That would be one tenth ounce of, tr of pure gold in my hands on these two gold backs. That's like one of these American gold yeah. eagles. This, this one tenth ounce American gold eagle that I'm showing people right now. That's the equivalent amount of gold. That's just stunning. Yeah. Think. Well, that's what Goldback wants to do that. They want yes. to put the gold into the hands of the people. Exactly. That's most important. Put the real money mm -hmm. into the hands of the people. And so mm -hmm. that's what this is all about. You've done us proud with your tremendous work, Sherry. Oh, I love your state. I really do. <laughs> I, I think that's my second favorite state. If, it wasn't, if I wasn't here in Utah, I would be Utah, there. Right. So that's awesome. Oh, well, thank you so much for joining Little Stacks and I. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching uh, Yankee Stacking. And if you're interested in these gold backs, definitely check out goldback.com. I'll put the, the URL right there in the description of this video, but it's pretty easy to remember. Goldback.com. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.